There is also a set of elements that are specifically around reference text. HTML again was designed around research documents and presenting documents. We don't think of it as much for that today because we are used now shopping sites and work sites that they are not typically documents in that same sense. But there are a lot of things we can use around our text too in order to reference other materials or do special types of citations. For example, you may need to create a super subscript or a sub subscript if you need to write that something is a particular value secured or you need to have a sub subscript that puts more of a footnote type marker in you can use these elements around a number or in text order to get them appear that way. There is a the site element. There is a site element which allows you to cite another work or another person. So if you are quoting someone, you may use that to indicate who the originator of that quote was. We have the abbreviation element and uh, in you can allow us to uh, add that allow you to identify an abbreviation in your document and more importantly provide the text of what that abbreviation stand for so that someone looking at your document who may not be familiar with it can mouse over that abbreviation and get the full text that it stands for. As a developer, if you are building out the content, you may be documenting your APIs or other things. You may want to use the code and uh, some element, a sample elements in order to specify that particular content is code and should be formatted slightly differently. Likewise, if you are defining keyboard input or some variables as you are documenting that code, you can call those out and finally we have the uh, notion of quotes and you can have a stand inline quotes with a Q element or a block quote. If we think back to our inline versus block elements you will see that these really fall into that category where a block quote is going to give us the text in a black uh, blocked quote format whereas Q can be used to inline to wrap something in quotation marks to indicate that it is a direct quote.